Welcome back. We're about to participate in the 8-something-something something team battle, which is going to be a five-minute tournament. Um, we're representing Team Shogi Harbor along with these fine folks. 10, 9, 8, Good luck, everyone. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. These are going to be fast paced games. I built this castle but a file away from where it normally goes. I don't understand. Why would anyone play like that? Hmm. Well, this looks interesting. <laughs> it didn't promote. I don't know how that happened. I th My understanding is these pieces are capable of promoting when they reach a certain rank. Do I not understand the rules? Maybe not. Um, that's a moment. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck to everyone. I hope you're feeling better soon. I mean, I guess this makes it more challenging, so we'll try to enjoy this. Um, hmm. 
I'm tired, so I'm just going to play this move and hope it works. All right. Maybe it was my mouse that double clicked there. Sometimes my mouse does double click. Oh, the silver covers the square. I missed that important detail. Um, Hmm. My king's in a bit of hot water here. I've got no time to think here. Okay, that move's legal. But yeah, there's no Byoyomi and no increment in this tournament, so my commentary's a bit sparse. I'm trying to play very quickly. Oh, that doesn't mate. That was intense. Thanks. All right. Yeah, there's... Even though many people signed up for the tournament, I can't actually see how many games are being played at once here. Um... I can mouse over player names and see whether an individual player seems to be playing a game. But it's quite possible the scheduling this tournament might be such that, like, pairings could be slow. 
just because folks excitedly sign up for a thing in advance doesn't always mean they're going to show up perfectly for it, but it's okay. So, yeah, this is a celebration of uh, the Constitution of the Ukraine uh, the 24th, on August 24th. So, it seems like a fun occasion to play some games and um, commemorate current events and stuff. Let's see, I'm going to read your comment because the chat window probably cut it off. Um, so, when I played the accidental bishop under promotion, you thought I could take the knight with check? Yeah, I wondered about that. Um, yeah, the one challenge with these this team battle format is that um, you can't get paired against your teammates. So this format works best when you can get many teams signed up at once and many players. Um, and if you don't hit the critical mass for this, then it's just an exciting event. But um, I do like this sideboard actually is quite large. You can kind of see what's going on. I don't think game clocks are shown here. They could be, they're just not yet. Um, but let's see. Yeah, and Lily's correct that it's quite possible you just might not get paired. And that's a sad reality that could happen. Um, so the reason I'm not diving right into watch the game itself is because what if additional players show up and they're playing for different teams? I want to be ready to get a pairing. Um, <laughs> the sole victor. Well, no, the victor here is determined uh, by... Well, okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, it's the team victory, but I'm the player who's scored the most points so far. Um, yeah, we're definitely rooting for Jen here. There was some conversation yesterday, and it takes a much funnier tone right now that is it a bad idea to play in these tournaments like if you were to play and you were to lose a game would that hurt the team score he said well it might help some teams score an extra point or two but like it's not going to hurt the team score if a person plays i'm not saying i'm not predicting the outcome of the game i think he's going to win it but um you know, I just, this recasts that conversation in a different light, because this is like the one occasion where we'd all feel bad playing this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so I guess the moral of the story is we need more folks to sign up for tournaments when we do team battles. Um, maybe plan them further in advance or promote them better or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, at least right. We got a kind of feel for Eva, Ava. I don't know how they prefer their name pronounced. Um, got a feel for them, though. That, like, they're representing their team. Their team, like, teams should be ranked first by, um the score and second like tiebreaker should involve like some sort of participation measure so whatever team they're playing for should take second but might not it should be something like that but yeah yeah and it's not like there's millions of dollars at stake this week that's next week. Oh, I'm just kidding. But, um... Yeah, so... 
Let's go, Jen. Let's do it. Yeah, last time I played in one of the Lee Shogi team battles, I think was the Streamer Festival. It took place last year. Um, that was good fun. We've got a video about that somewhere. And, um, yeah, I got... It was, again, at an hour like this. I don't know what it is about folks liking to play the game at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just a really good hour. Um, nice. But yeah, uh, it's last time there were a lot of very strong players, and I kind of got my teeth kicked in. But I think I won a game, so I did the best for my team back then. And that's all we can ask of anyone, is just do your best. All right. Let's go, Hedgehog! Alright, I think at this time it probably is safe for me to assume that I'm not getting another pairing. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, even though we... Oh, I'm sorry, the other spectator down there is from our team. So yeah, let's just watch this. Oh, I keep... interesting. The site doesn't have Zen... Or this... TV perspective watching a game doesn't have Zen mode. I've created some user style for Zen mode on other uh, sites, other views and such, but I've not created one for this yet. Um, let's see, bouncing across, asked Shogi Fisher random tournament for 400k coming soon. <laughs> uh, there are really strong players in the streamer fest. Yeah. Even a short guy player. Oh, that's right. I remember. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, he really wants to play high Ibisha shapes and everybody. Oh, no. Um, yeah. I wonder someday if we could have tournaments that will set some of the moves already in place for the players. So if they really, really want a particular strategy, they can get it. But yeah, um, Static Rook is not something I normally do. Especially when, I don't know, here I am representing my team trying extremely hard to win my game. Um, so I don't just, or also trying not to embarrass myself. Uh, but it could be fun to try Static Rook at some point. I wonder how many legal positions you can shovel the pieces around in on the first two ranks. I'm um, thinking about it. So, I guess there's two ways to try to answer this. Um, the first way would be keeping the Rook and Knight and Bishop and Knight together and just shuffling the files, which might make good sense. I don't know. The math is a lot easier, or maybe it's not that way. But then in terms of combinatorics, you have nine factorial over, like you have whatever, um, you could place the lances in two columns, the knights in two columns, uh, the silvers and the golds. So that's like, 9 choose 2, and then 7 choose 2, 5 two, choose 2, and 3 choose 2. I'm trying to run that in my head. Um, yeah, 9 choose 2 is just 9 times 8. So 9 8, wait, 9 times 8 divided by 2, because the two rearrangements are equivalent. 
So it's 9 by 4 is 36. And then the knights go 7 choose 2, 7 by 3 is 21. And then 5 choose 2, 5 by 2 is 10. And then 3 choose 2 is just 3. So you multiply all those numbers together and you get some... That's a larger number than I expected. It's got to be larger than 960. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Blender show Keith throwing them anywhere on the first two ranks. I think that might be a bit chaotic. But, yeah, you could consider that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I assume players would probably want the start position to be either vertically or diagonally symmetric, but I don't know. If you really want something chaotic, shuffle the pieces on the first three ranks, and if Nifu happens, you know, it, like both players just lose. Oh look, during setup, Nifu happened. Well, oh well. Yeah. But no, I think if you were to have diagonal symmetry, that could be interesting. Yeah, Hedgehog might not be aware of the time situation. And might get aware of it very quickly here. I'm predicting this is probably the final game that's going to conclude this tournament. Even though there are three minutes remaining in the event, even if you were to go Berserk, you're not going to get your game done. It'd be kind of... well, we'll see. Two, one... All right, back to the lobby. Sorry, Hedgehog. Um, yeah, this... Time control is extremely strict. It's just how it is. All right. Team Shogi Harbor is in first with four points. They could just close pairing. Okay, good. Yeah. So this entered, uh, this means there are not going to be any new pairings for the remainder of the event. Incidentally, there are no games in progress. Therefore, since all games have concluded, which is not really a normal thing for this since the games... Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is normally there are some games ongoing when tournament pairings close. But it would be possible to just advance to uh, the standings. But there's no rush. Um, yeah. Yeah, it could have been very exciting to try Berserking. Um, the good news is, like, even with two and a half minutes on your clock and two minutes remaining in the tournament, uh, if you get a lost position, you wouldn't have to, like, continue moving until after the tournament ends. Um, but, yeah, we didn't even have to see any strats like that. So, yeah, this is the team battle format. Works great when many teams, many players sign up. Um, I think Leechus had one yesterday, or is having one soon this week. Um, and periodically has team battles, and I've been asking... Like, do we want to have a Shogi Harbor team 
participating in those team battles on Leech Us, but those happen midday. So, like, generally I can't be there for it. Maybe it's not the best time for Harbor folks to be there. But maybe someday we'll represent our Harbor there. Either way, these tournaments are fun. And let's see the standings. Beautiful. So yeah, it'll show you your, um, let's see, I think this is the total tournament information. And then you can break things down by team here and see like here's who had a chance to play, average player rating on the team, average performance. <laughs> uh, averages are funny numbers, aren't they? Um, but yeah, you can also drill down to the team page and such. But yeah, got a lot of moves played. Had some fun games here. Um, yeah, I believe they did. That's uh, that'll be an interesting development. We'll see it go. So hope we enjoyed that. Uh, thanks to our tournament organizer, Eva here, for bringing things together. Even though they didn't. Um, get the opening strategy they were hoping for. Hopefully it was a fun time for everyone.